No cardio. Uh, no, I run. <laughs> That's See, a savory answer. Yeah. So what is the real answer? You. I think they get it. Oh. I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what you do. Well. You burn a lot of calories. Uh, good for you. That's fantastic. Henry Cavill, as we know him to be, is a very sweet, fun, loving guy who puts his heart and soul into his projects that he is involved in, like Superman, The Witcher, and more recently, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I nearly fell in. This guy grabbed me just as I was about to fall into the ocean at 2 o'clock in the morning and pretty much saved my life. So <laughs> maybe not a moment of filming, but a, a huge moment of gratitude. <laughs> what, what people don't know is that I was actually trying to push him in. <laughs> and then just got my ball, and I was like, Oh, I got you! <laughs> I pulled it back <laughs> Today we wanted to go back through his career and share the reason why he has as big of a funny bone as he does. Has Henry Cavill ever shoplifted? And if so, what did he get? Uh, yes, I think I was six and it was chewing gum. And I felt so guilty I gave it back. Before you treated or after? <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question. What is his current dog's name? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm gonna go with Addy Kaggy. The mission, if you choose to accept it, save Martha. Very, very funny. I would love to save Martha. She's a very savable person. It's a good job Batman's around to do it, eh? The previous project of his was Argyle, where Henry Cavill played the character Argyle, a spy action comedy. When you have so many talented professionals out there releasing music, I don't want to hear non-professionals. <laughs> I want to have a great night out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I'd rather get drunk and dance. I don't need to sing. I can see yeah. why people have a lot of fun with it, but it's... Do you, though? It's not my... It's not my <laughs> I can see why in the same way that, you know, I can play a character that yes, doesn't exist. Yes, yes. As much as Henry takes his roles seriously, it's apparent with some of the word choices he says that when he answers questions around people, they can't help but crack up laughing. Henry Cavill definitely exudes big energy. And to make it even better, I'm 99% sure he's actually big. I'm weak just thinking about it. Thank you. Why the 1%? I ask. And furthermore, no comment. It's clear that the cast had a really fun time filming this film along with the cat, which Henry got teased at times by his co-stars, saying he was jealous of it having to share the front of the movie poster. Totally fine. I think that's one of the few times I interacted with Don't lie. With a cat. You're jealous. No, no, honestly, not. Joking. No. I mean, cat, cats don't even register on my radar. To be honest. I'm a dog person. So, do it. Why? Why? Yeah, I feel like it, I I can't fight like that. Um, I mean, I, I can't like... fight like that either. <laughs> Sitting down with Sam Rockwell, it's clear that these two have great chemistry, starring in this film together, talking about what they lied about to get a job. Yeah, probably. Probably. I, think it's, like, I mean, what is it on the CBS? I do horseback everyone, riding. Yeah, everyone used yeah, to say something that. Something like that. I actually, I, I learned how to horseback ride on my first job, so I could horseback ride. So you could, you so really I could. Put it yeah. On, yeah, yeah. I'm crap. I've done three westerns and I'm still crap. At one point, it was asked what his dog thought about working with a cat, to which Henry gave an entertaining answer. Uh, well, uh, thankfully, I had it in my contract not to have too much interaction with the cat, and so Cal went, "That's fine." I'll allow it. He's a very large dog. Yes, 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 I know. He's upstairs, actually. Doing a dance move like that with Dua Lipa, yeah, you just, it's, that's one person, I mean, you don't want to drop anyone, but you don't want to drop Dua Lipa either. I'd have hordes of fans after my, after my head. The next project that we have seen him in was Enola Holmes with Millie Bobby Brown, where we saw these two play pranks on each other behind the scenes and just goofing around. Well, they do multiple. I see some power behind it. My favorite thing with working with Henry is that he's really, um, just let it happen. Oh, this is so it could have worked. <laughs> no, it's the thing I put on the floor. It missed the button. Okay, I oh, think there oh. needs to be a curve in it. As we can see them play some games, promoting the film at the time, it has been said that oddly enough, Henry had set rules for her in real life, according to sources, about what couldn't be talked about and what couldn't be asked. But at the end of the day, it has been seen that they get along pretty well. Sour sop. <laughs> <laughs> it's sour sop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay. Um, I think it starts with a P. 
Phosphorus. Oh gosh, that that's good. That's really good. I'm really enjoying doing this. Is that phosphor? Oh yeah. Phosphorus? Yeah. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. Well, the first time I got the call, I actually missed it. I was <laughs> I was playing World of Warcraft at the time and <laughs> I had my priorities straight. <laughs> it was an important part of a particular dungeon that I was going through. And, and it's cool now that I'm Superman. Yeah. <laughs> At one point, they were asked to pick their dream dance partners. I'm still stuck on you ripping your eye sockets. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Another boring one, Julius Caesar. Okay. For obvious reasons. What would you want to do with I think you'd have to, you'd Julius. have to, I don't know if Julius was much dancer. of a dancer with dudes. Yeah, but listen, it's 2022. Maybe a two-step, we talking. Two-step. Yeah. A little bit twerking it like as well. Julius Caesar twerking. Oh. The Witcher was another one of Henry's iconic roles. Being in three seasons, he had a great time with the cast and funny moments as well making jokes. Were you guys aware of the property, the books, the games, all that stuff? <laughs> Wait, no. do I want to ask this one or do you want to? <laughs> I definitely knew about it. Oh yeah, there's a big crowd outside and this is, yeah, is kind of cool. So wave at everyone. <laughs> um, You're a very big deal. <laughs> yeah. No. Like, no. Not really. <laughs> no. No, I wear my geek on my sleeve these right, days. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After his shocking exit as Superman from the DC franchise, the actor's association with another big series, The Witcher, also ended. As we've seen an exit with The Witcher and the failure of Argyle, it seems that the current Guy Ritchie film will save him. Playing a demigod informing your, what your preparation for Superman. Um, well, I'm gonna say Theseus isn't a demigod. That's what it says on Wikipedia. Yeah, Sorry. Wikipedia? You're using Wikipedia as your source of information. My moustache bullies me. I can barely sleep at night. Because it, it forces me to put a moustache hammock onto it. So it can sleep. So really? I can sleep. Henry Cavill took down all manner of monster in Netflix's The Witcher, but his swordsmanship will apparently be much better in the upcoming Handler reboot. If you thought you'd seen me do sword work before, you haven't seen anything yet, Cavill said of his incoming performance. United tops of Smash Bros. <laughs> Henry Cavill can, like, stick his tongue down my throat, I guess. Thanks. Thanks for the opportunity. Henry Cavill could leave me on read at 4.30, text back at 8.47, and I'd reply at 8.46. It's a neat trick. <laughs> the actor recently said his preparation for the film would include a very long training process, and filming is due to begin soon, too. It's centered around Scottish warrior Connor McLeod, who discovers he is immortal when he survives what should have been a fatal stabbing in battle. We're otherwise famous for cows. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah Jersey, Jersey cows. Jersey cows. Oh, yeah. Which, um... Did you have any cows growing up? I did not. Oh. There were lots of cows around. Uh -huh. Beautiful cows, by the way. And if anyone plans on getting into farming, very high cream yield for a small cow. Oh. <laughs> It's not too surprising to see Cavill's commitment to Highlander, especially considering Lionsgate has indicated it's interested in making it a new franchise. At the end of the day, it's great to witness all of Henry's moments where he is funny even when he doesn't really intend to be, which makes it even funnier. Hari CM, Cavill is annoyingly good looking. Git. I think we might have missed some grammar in there, but we've got some exclamation marks. <laughs> Thanks, Hari. Appreciate it. Henry should be the next James Bond. It's funny you should say that. I would love to play a role like James Bond. Now that's what you call a star cast. I'm, I'm glad you've recognized the moustache as the character that it is and that it deserves. And as far as the answer to a trivia question, Henry Cavill's dog, aptly named Cal, is his best friend and constant companion. In 2011, Cavill adopted the American Akita when he was a puppy. Around the same time, Cavill started to get more work as an actor. It is said that Cal presence has helped to reduce the actor's stress and anxiety which comes with being in the spotlight. Similar to how Millie and I are with one another in the sense that Millie has has no respect for Sherlock. <laughs> Enola's always been um, fiery and she would never just do what Sherlock says. And so, for example, what's going on here? <laughs> But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all these moments of his? It's apparent that he really is fun to work with. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video.
Bye, guys. What did it look like at home when you weren't drunk? Just super short. Just super yeah, Did it flop you, down? <laughs> no, because it was so short, it just kind of yeah. stayed on top. But, yeah, but not, yeah. not straight up. You have to like blow dry that and put yeah. that product in. And I'm not much of a blow drying guy. Right. <laughs> Wake up in the morning and get the hair dryer out. And You're not? Sure. No, I know. <laughs>